literally amazing. Look at this. It's actually so bad. I have a pair of Lululemon leggings. I bought back in like June. I never wore. I don't know. Would it clash? This is like a raspberry and these are really red. I don't know what to do. So I put these on. They're Lululemon. I think they're like Wonder Hunters, but honestly they're not my favorite because they fall down so easily. But... I think it's a better outfit than the other one. I don't know. I wish I had like brighter stuff to wear. But we'll see. I think I'm going to bring a change of clothes in case I change my mind on the way. I don't think this looks bad. I have to drive. In this outfit. <laughs> That's the only thing that kind of sucks. I can't really sit comfortably. It's very tight. <laughs> oh yeah, this is it. So these are the ones, the leggings I wore the first time I did Soul Cycle in DC, like over a year ago. And I'm really excited I found them because now I can buy them again. They're really great. They don't fall down. So I'm excited. It's 7 o'clock right now. I'm going to make coffee and hit the road because... Google says that it might take me an hour and 40 minutes. I hope I have everything I need. What is my hair doing? <laughs> Hi, Joe. Back hag. Sweatshirt. Right? Let's do this. I'm gonna make some coffee in my tumbler. They have... Unsweetened Starbucks. This Cliffy of Farms. And sweet almond milk, and I never put sugar in my coffee, but this is like so good. I might splash some in it just to have like a little sugar because I don't really eat much before I work out. But it's seven twelve. I gotta move, but I just realized I didn't put on deodorant. So this is just from Lush. It's called Aromaco, and I love it. It literally does not let you smell. Um. After spin, it's awesome. I need to find like the perfect leggings, I really do. All right, this is the outfit. So a big thing is that you get pumped before soul, and usually like people don't have much of a commute, but I have like a possible two hour commute, so let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, come along. Cheers. Okay, you guys, now that I'm outside, I could talk in a normal tone. I just didn't want to wake anyone in my house. So it's 717. Let me show you. Quick, just want to tell you what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm driving. Well, okay. Without traffic, it's an hour. And then with traffic, it could be up to one hour and 40 minutes. So that's why we're leaving a little over two hours before class starts, just in case. Um, I don't have a soul cycle near me, as you could tell. And the first time I ever sold was in a big city called DC. And it was amazing, and I had a great time, and I love it, and I crave it all the time. And I have like a. I have a cycling studio by me. I have a couple actually, but I just really want to go to Seoul and I thought this would be a great idea for a video because it's Monday and why not? If it turns out great, we could do it again. If it doesn't, then 
I won't, but it's okay. And I'm really excited to see like what happens in terms of traffic. Um, I'm not going to be filming while I draw. On my way, I will be taking like a B12 and snacking on a Lara bar just so I have a little something in my system as well as be drink as well as drinking coffee and having some water. I usually don't eat before I work out because I get really sick, but I have plenty of time to like eat something and digest a bit. So yeah, I'm excited. I'll be jamming the whole way there, which I won't be able to show you because of copyright things, copyright issues. But yeah, um, I kind of really wish I had a different outfit on, but I really don't have time for that. But it's not what it's about. It's okay. All right, let's go. Guys, it's going to take me 58 minutes, apparently. I'm just blocking it out so you can't see like my location but 58 minutes 59 minutes uh oh i better kick this must be what la traffic is like so where i'm going like the direction i'm going and the state i'm in is like forbidden on a monday like you should not unless you really have to we're at a complete standstill this is also why i left two hours early you guys, I am here. I made it to Soul Cycle. I'm an hour early, but that's okay. I'm so excited. That was so, so, so worth the hour. Not really. No, it was like less than an hour drive, but it was so worth it. I'm so excited. So, like I said earlier, I the first time I ever Soul Cycled, I was in DC, which is four hours away from me. Um, so I was like, oh, if I could do it four hours away from me, I could do it one hour away, right? <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm really excited. It's Monday, and we're getting at it, and I'm at Seoul, and that was really cool. I'm really glad I finally did it. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, because why not? Like, I don't know, like, driving an hour to go work out, where I could, like, literally work out anywhere else, I think it's going to be a great vid. I hope you guys watch it. <laughs> Um, over an hour early, it's 8.22 in the morning. So I technically could be going to the 8.30 class, but that's gonna be like overwhelming for me to like jump in there and not have like enough time to kind of get settled and like chill. So instead I'm just gonna add more to this video. I'm so excited. It's right there, Soul Cycle. Um, in terms of how did the drive go, let's talk about that. So for whatever reason, like the way the highway is set up when you go the direction I was going is like actual, like I, I can't even explain it. There's all of a sudden you can like make U-turns in the middle of the road and like things like that. I don't know. We don't do that where I'm from. <laughs> And that's scary because everyone's making their morning commute and like these people do this five times a day, five times a day, five times a week. And you're like, oh my God, like you're flying and you know what you're doing and all that stuff. So, oh, there goes the 30 class. Hi, Paul. So guys, I don't know how people like show up a minute before something starts. Like, and I know SoulCycle is strict with that stuff. Like if you're X amount of minutes late, like you can't go in. Like, don't you get nervous? Here I am like an hour early and these people are like rolling and there's like one minute left. Like, <laughs> I do not do well like that. But, back to the whole traffic thing. So, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Considering Google predicted like an hour and 40 minutes and I was ready for it. Not bad, here an hour early. Would I do it again? Absolutely. I will definitely be doing this again. It wasn't that bad at all. Um, I think doing it on a Monday is also a big help because it's not the weekend. I feel like more people travel on the weekends versus just going to work. So today was like a like the normal morning crew, I guess. Um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys earlier. I make my coffee at home now. Whoa. It's so much more cost effective. Because I only usually drink black coffee or um, coffee with almond milk anyway. So it's like really simple. And there's no real reason to be paying like 3 to $5 a day. Maybe twice a day. 
Um, so what I've been doing is, like you saw earlier, I just have the bottle of Starbucks coffee and Califia Farms almond milk, and I just do that. So if you do the math real quick, like five dollars a day times seven. Excuse me. Five times seven is thirty-five. The bottle of coffee and the bottle of um, milk are both like five dollars each. We'll estimate, right? So that's ten dollars, and I get like three or four days worth out of it. So if I'm spending twenty dollars on everything for the week, I'm saving like fifteen dollars. I don't know. It's just it's really definitely made a difference for me personally. Because of the amount of coffee I drink, it's just easier. And you can have it whenever you want and make it however you want it. You know, it's a thought. And then, I don't know, it's so much nicer when you go to buy coffee. Because it's like such a treat. Um, I took my B12. I had half of my Lara bar. I'll probably have the other half in a little bit. I brought a bracelet to work on in case this happened with like the hour to spare. There's other stores near here, but I don't think they're open because it's only 8.30. Oh my god. Excuse me. Woo! Oh. oh, I can't wait to show you guys. I actually found a pair of SoulCycle shoes on Poshmark in my size and I can't wait for them to come in because when I use them at like my local cycling studio I don't know I just I know these shoes work well for me I think it's been really hard for me to find cycling shoes a lot of cycling shoes you have to order online and so it's so hard because you have to like order them wait try them on try them out if they don't work you return them then you got to start the whole process over again so I knew when I found the soul cycle shoes on Poshmark that it was gonna work because I already knew my size and I was just so excited and I got them and I'm ooh. I'll clean them out nice um the person who owned them before me looked like they were fine so I'm not really worried about it and when you think about it it's like the same thing because when you're renting shoes from soul cycle anyway like bunch of other people put their feet in it versus just one other person i don't know it sounds gross i guess to some people but if you're renting shoes anyway it's like the same idea i've never been to this soul before um the front i see the merch in the window <laughs> and there's people at the desk and i technically could go in i guess and just like get comfortable and like hang out i don't know should i instead of sitting in my car i brought a bracelet to work on but, um, yeah, I'm, like, really excited. I'm, like, too excited. Maybe I'll just sit in the car and kind of, like, get pumped before I go in there. I'm so happy I did this. <laughs> ah, I can't wait to tell you guys how class went. Happy Monday. Holy. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I'm so used to like, hang on. I need air. Okay. I did it. Okay, I did it. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Went to Soul Cycle, drove an hour. It was awesome. I let everyone know. I let the people at the front desk know the instructor was amazing. She was so cool. It was actually funny because in the beginning, it looked like I like literally have never been on a bike before, but okay. Um, I couldn't get my foot to clip in. And if you're familiar with like clipping in in general, like you'll know that there's two different kinds of clips, blah, blah, blah. So the um, pedal is double sided. So you have like SPD clips and then the delta clips on one side and I kept like trying to get my right foot in I can only get my left in and I was like hi can you help me because I can't get my foot in I felt like the shoe was broken or like something was broken she's like you're on the wrong side hon and I was like I know <laughs> I was like happy Monday you know she was so cool 
I'm so, 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 so happy I came. If anyone, like, exercise in general, not just soul, like, you know, like, that feeling after where you're just, like, and you're just happy. That's what I feel like. Peep the bun, people. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. And in my head, before I came, I was like, I'm going to buy stuff. Like, I'm going to get all the merch. And then I got there and I was like, oh, I can't right now. It's so expensive, but so cute. So we'll see. But I don't know. I feel like I have to do a couple more classes to like, in order to like rock it. I don't know. I have one soul sweatshirt at home, but that's not really the point. So anyway, I did it guys. I drove an hour to soul cycle and hopefully it's less than that to get home. I'm really nauseous. <laughs> I can't even like hold it in. So if anyone knows you could like shower after soul and usually when I go to soul, it's in like a big city. And so there's like, 40 bajillion people everywhere all the time and like showering and like screaming and yelling and going in and out of their lockers and this one everyone was like Phew! and I was like guys I didn't even like take my shoes off yet but that's fine like whatever I guess it's because <clears throat> this location isn't in a city so like, people just drive home I don't know that's what happened thank you guys so much for watching part one of three to I drive to Soul Cycle for an hour uh, three times in one week I really appreciate it I was going to make all three um all three times in one episode but i realized this video was getting quite long and i didn't want to do that to you guys unless it's something you like let me know in the comments below whether you like longer blogs shorter blogs whatever you want to know so if you have any questions about soul cycle um i'm not sponsored to make this video so leave them down below even if i was i guess leave them down below but i'm not sponsored so thank you again so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and thanks